Hi, pigs. That's how Judy Tenuta would begin her stand-up act. And with her recent death, I thought I'd tell you a short story about my late brother and how he got her autograph. But before I do that, let me tell you why I enjoyed her stand-up. Many of you may know about the comedy boom that happened from the mid-80s to the mid-90s. It would usher in many up-and-coming stars, including Jerry Seinfeld, Gary Shandling, Ellen DeGeneres. I even tried my hand at amateur stand-up for about a year and a half, and I even placed third in a contest to find Buffalo's funniest amateur stand-up. So, I can appreciate good stand-up comedy. But the ones who I enjoyed the most tended to be the oddballs, such as Stephen Wright, Joel Hodgson, Emo Phillips. And Judy was the only woman to make her name among those. Her persona and attitude were far from the Paula Poundstones and the Rita Rudners that would take the stage. Anna, there's this guy sitting next to me. Looks like a squid in stretch pants. <laughs> so, you know, I'm ready to spawn. <laughs> And, you know, if I knew that she and Weird Al Yankovic would make accordions cool, I might have continued with those music lessons. Oh, and he says to me, he says, Judy, says Judy, says Judy. He had an accordion, too. Now, I've actually seen more stand-up shows than concerts over my lifetime, and I'm disappointed I didn't get to see hers. But my late brother, Edward, did. Now, he liked to collect autographs. The biggest name he got was Robert Redford's. Uh, when he was filming The Natural here in Buffalo, he'd signed several baseballs, and when they were thrown out into the audience, my brother managed to snag one of those. Now, during Judy's act, she would spit her gum out into the audience. <laughs> Crawl for it! And during this show, my brother paid attention to where it landed. So... After the show, he went looking for the gum and found it, and he picked it up with his bare hands. He had with him a 3 by 5 card, and he waited for her backstage with that gum. And when she came out, she saw he had the gum, and she was impressed enough that uh, she actually took the gum, shaped it into a petite flower, stuck it onto the card, and autographed it to him, and called him a stud puppet. And when I was going through my brother's effects, I found the autograph, but the gum had fallen off as it had hardened and couldn't stick to the paper anymore. I know I have the autograph somewhere among his possessions, so in a way he did manage to possess her. You cannot possess me! No! <laughs> Even though I don't believe in an afterlife, maybe he and Judy would manage to meet up again. It could happen! I hope you enjoyed this short interlude away from music. I'll be back with another music history video soon. And in the meantime, if you like this, please click the like button and leave a comment down below. Don't forget to ring the bell for future notifications, and please subscribe to my channel. I am Gunkle Mark, and thank you for watching.